Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to fix and start the boat. Thank God. Now, hopefully the boat won't blow up. So what I have here is I have the I have the shutters. What these do is uh, in the exhaust in the exhaust system, these prevent water from rushing back into the engine uh, when you're when you come to a stop after going uh, going forward, so the water doesn't rush back into the engine. Then the water pressure pushes these up, and you know, water in your engine is not a good thing. And then these are the new the new hose connectors, which I think these are the hose bellows. These ones, these ones are the old ones. As you can see, they're that are in the inside is not it's not good compared to the new one and these are melted and they're thin so this one was ruptured in the middle right here and I, had to, I just cut it uh, cut the edges to get this one off these are important to have because uh, the water won't exit through the exhaust system and exit the boat they'll spill into the bilge of the boat and yeah so you'll, your boat will sink but these items are the last. Then I'll be able to start the boat, thank God. Thank God. Now, what I have here is a 1990 Celebrity 190BR with a 5.7 V8 engine in it. A high-end engine, it's about 400 and something horsepower. So today, we're gonna get this started. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this moment for about a year. Oh, about a year. That that engine is huge. So what happened with this last year is the engine overheated. A couple of parts melted, and after that, I was not able to use it, and I just had it winterized in the middle of July. We will need this. I think the attachment that I have on it is good. I think this regular attachment will do the trick for what I need to do. Take care of that, and that's good to go. Perfect. Now, I should have recorded this last night, but as you can see, I used the Dremel tool to cut off uh, this impeller because uh, it took me like five hours to get this off, but after cutting that like that with the Dremel tool, it took me like about a minute. So, so yeah, I should have just flat out done that from the beginning. But what happens? What happened here is there is a little ridge of metal that I'm gonna have to uh, sand down which is preventing the, the new impeller from going in e from going in easily. I do not want to force it on. I want to just slide it on and slide it off. So we're going to sand that down really quick. Once I got my safety glasses. Don't want to do, don't want to do too much, so I'm doing a little bit at a time. And there we go. Locked in place. We are going to be using the 12 volt drill. I do not know why I'm sniffing. Perfect. Let me tell you about this drill really quick. When my wife and I first bought this house, I 
bought this. This is my second Ryobi tool that's right here. My first one is the 10 inch uh, table saw that I bought like five, six years ago. I thought this is all I need. This and that is all I need to fix this house. Boy, was I wrong, you know, considering what my wall is now. Very good. Very good. Very good. Is what I did is I uh fixed the exhaust system and the impeller that's in here, changed the gear oil, changed the filter and oil in the on the engine and according to the quote of the that I got, those were the main things that I needed to fix for this to be okay. So let's turn the engine on and see what happens. Alrighty, so now that the engine works, I say it's time to uh, give it a quick cleaning. Now, of course, I did make a video about this already of stuff that you could bring on the on the boat, but I'm gonna uh, make another one in a little bit once that's actually out on the water. But I'm gonna use uh, my Ryobi vacuums to clean up the boat. So let's let's do that really quick. Let's see what this does first. <laughs> is dry and no oil that I could see. It's completely dry which is phenomenal. Let's get the other one. And make sure you keep your uh, filters clean. Not just the Ryobi vacuums but for all vacuums. It is important to keep those clean. People don't clean them as much as they should. Yeah, that's on right. And that's that. So that's what the back of the boat looks like. Gonna clean clean this leather off in a little bit, but for now we're gonna vacuum with my Ryobi vacuums.
right, so the last thing we're going to test out is one thing I haven't used yet, which I'm excited about, is this buffer. I'm going to see if this buffer is capable of shining a part of the blue stripe. So let's uh, get that buffer ready and see what it can do. So we're going to try a section right this section right here because this is oxidized. So we're going to see if this buffer could help take that off. All I have here is Starbright Premium Cleaning Wax, which it's I don't think Starbright is a big brand. I got this at Walmart, so but we will see. We will see what happens. Now I am going to glaze the heck out of it with a lot because it needs it you know what I am tired of this string that keeps on breaking so what I'm gonna do is fish it with a zip tie There we go. That shouldn't come off or anything now. Let's cut this off. Let's cut the excess off, then we're good to go. Let's see. And it stayed on. Perfect. Ooh. Holy crap, it took it off. It took it off, oh my god. Wow, it, it worked. This buffer is awesome. Holy cow. I am not kidding. This that worked. That worked. I mean, it's it's now shiny. This was all oxidized right here, but you can see my reflection. That's awesome. See, so yeah, as you can see, if you keep going, see this this stuff right here. That that's the oxidation. But as you can see, it left. What a difference. Awesome. Let's continue on with the rest of the, uh, the blue stripe. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, for the last time today, I am going to uh, turn the engine on and uh, just see how she runs for the last time today since it was the first time running with an overheated engine last year. Luckily, it is fixed, but let's do one last test. This time with the boat cover on, so it's not going to be as loud. It's awesome. That is awesome. So we're just going to let that run for a few minutes, enjoy the air. Engine's good, it has like about 770 hours on it, which uh, still sounds healthy, thank God. But yes, but uh, I was surprised on how well this buffer worked. I have a feeling that this buffer uh, works better than the bigger buffer does because this is a more concentrated spot so it doesn't so you're able to get a little bit better buffing in a smaller area than the bigger one to where it's just the surface stuff but this one it's a little bit more concentrated if you push down a little just a little bit 
But uh, but yes, we are going to completely detail the crap out of this boat in a future video using this and see what happens. See what happens because uh, it's looking a little dull. It needs to be majorly polished. But yes, my shop is a mess, so we're out here right now. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just, uh, I love my Ryobi tools and use Ryobi tools for everything, in every situation, not just building or fixing houses, boats too. Uh, so, this is David Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.